you're in the market to lose some time. Maybe you just browsing in the marketplace to lose some time. You can't quite get it right. You can't find a way to waste your time. Don't worry. Trucking Life got an idea for you. I got the perfect market just to satisfy your needs. Your needs is. That's right. You got it. Real yachts, baby. Real yachts. That's the perfect market for you. If you're in the market to waste your time, don't want to go nowhere fast, go Real Yards. Go Real Yards. Go, go, go Real Yards. Go, go. I promise this stuff, boy. You just, this... I ain't gonna say every day is bad doing real yards, but I will say this, that um, you'll have enough days where you notice the real yards, they do what real yards do. Whatever that is, man, they can just, they, the, the. On a grand scheme of things, from a real yard perspective, they actually got a good operation. Cause they got all these moving parts in here and they make it happen without tearing stuff up all the time. It's still, some stuff still get tore up in between us and them, stuff get tore up. That's gonna happen anyway. So you might as well chop that up. But to have all this stuff going on, they have systems. Some of these systems need to be need to be tweaked a little bit, you know, for the most part. It's good and it works out for the rails. But it don't always work out for the driver. So as a driver yourself, you have to have a system, man. You know, some of this stuff you can't supersede, like some of they like some stuff you can't supersede. So with that being said, like, for an example, if you need a spotter, I got dust on my hat, that's what that's from the real yards. If you need a spotter to do something for you and or to get something, a box for you that's on the trailer, and you gotta wait in line, you can't supersede that. You try to throw them a couple dollars to get you get you up the, up the line a little quicker, but sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. But if you got if you got a way to get in here to get out real quick without messing around. To minimize the damage, create your system and how you do things in real yards, man. I would suggest that because, if, like I said, if you're in the market to waste your time, you ain't got no systems coming up in there, you're going to have problems. You're going to quit because rolling a lot of wheels, wasting a lot of time, and get nothing. I mean nothing accomplished. You can sit in the real yard all day. Now, if you're not getting paid hourly, you can pay by the moves, you can sit there all day and don't make a dime because... They just do what they do. These guys do what they do, and they good at it. So that leads me to my, my next point, which I touched on in the beginning of this video. Now I'm going to conclude this video. You in the market to waste your time. <laughs> you gotta laugh, man. This stuff is so crazy, man. I ain't in a rush now. I finally got my box now, but it's too late. I missed my appointment time. I can't. There's nothing I can do right now. So the main, the main thing of this video is, make sure you have a system, man. Like I said on, on uh, another video, I got some stuff coming up this year. Lord willing, man, that'll be, be able to help out anybody who don't know how to, who don't have a system, how to create your own system. And also, I got some pretty cool things coming up ahead, man. Just stay tuned for it. Your boy ain't out here doing all this for nothing, man. This, 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 I'm taking these headaches and hickeys, man. And I'm learning. I'm licking my wounds and I'm getting up, man. I ain't gonna last days I don't want to get back up. I'm like, man, skip this. Skip these rails. Skip all of this. But then you're like, you know what? Man, push through that, man. You've been through worse. You've been through a whole lot worse. So that's this video. But anyway. Got the hammer in my hand, man. This is one tire don't want to unstick, man. So sometimes the tire gets stuck. Like, look. See, I'm dragging it. I'm dragging it, man. So these brakes don't want to unstick. So sometimes you could just hit it with a hammer. Just give it a stick. Let's see right now. Oh, 
probably came up. Sometimes you gotta Bottom came a little, but I think the top still sticking. Bottom came loose a little bit. See? Let me see the top come loose. Alright, let's find out guys. Man. See? See it's rolling now? See the back tire rolling now. Sometimes you gotta get a hammer guys. When it's cold like this, the brums, the, the, the brums, the brakes get stuck on the drums. You just gotta take a hammer and just hit it. A lot of times it'll come loose, man, it just comes loose. If I drove this thing all around this lot before I realized I was dragging it. Hands cold and all, guys. But anyway, all right, YouTube, I thought this video was helpful. You guys will understand if your brakes, if your trailer brakes are sticking like that, get like a lot of hammer, man, put some, put some brute force to it. And uh, most of the time it'll work. But anyway, alright guys, see you guys in the next video. Peace.